Hey there, this week we're going to talk a little bit about right hand technique in terms of being able to use it as your built in equalizer, uh, getting different sounds out of the guitar, uh, just depending on where you actually pick the string and different ways to hold the pick and, and stuff like that. So it's going to be short and sweet, but hopefully it's going to give you a little bit more uh, ability to get some different uh, sounds and textures out of the instrument. All right, one of my favorite devices to get some different textures out of the guitar without relying on the electronics. Is, is actual pick placement. And this is this, just like with classical guitar, it goes back to the, you know, when people very first started playing this instrument. Uh, the only thing you have on an acoustic guitar is your hand to generate the sound. Um, people, I think, learn very early on that the closer to the bridge you pick, the thinner it's going to sound. And as you move up, the bigger and bassier it's going to sound. All right, so if I want a real thin sound, I'm just going to play a good old E minor chord here, open E minor. If I was to play down here, you by the bridge, I get that sort of deal. If I was to play it more where I usually tell people to pick, we're going to play behind the neck pickup, uh, and it's actually going to be a much bigger sound. As we get closer to the bridge, it thins out. Notice it gets all nice and big right there. If we can even play over the neck, and this is one of those things that I saw uh, Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones do when I was a kid and I always thought it was just some sort of silly affectation but the reality is you play a lot of those songs and you pick it over the fretboard you kind of get that sound. If I was to play this down here where I would normally play it sounds brighter this translates over the uh, you know, over the video but it actually kind of has this nice soft warm sound that we don't get down here what I would normally play All right. so that's the first thing a lot of times you know the surf music stuff you know you use a bridge pickup play down there you know get all kinds of really evocative sounds like that. If I play that stuff, it still sounds cool, but it's a totally different thing. The note has a lot more body. All right. Um, one thing that I, I saw on a Scott Henderson deal, I'm going to use a regular old Fender pick for this. Um, he plays with the side of the pick. I've always been taught to use the pointy end of the pick and you get a little bit more accuracy with it. Um, but the thing that I, I, I read him doing, and he actually said he got it from a Mike Landau, uh, deal was that he plays with the uh, uh, kind of the wider end of it. He gets a little bit more bass. So here's the pointy end. That's real bright. And then that's a little bit darker. There's the round part and then and there's the pointy part. Pointy. Round. And then I turn around. All right. Uh, if I use my normal jazz three pick, you don't get as much of a difference. There's the pointy. Here's the side. Sometimes if I'm if I'm playing jazz in a gig where I'm not playing a jazz guitar, it's kind of a good dodge. It's a way to kind of get through um, a little closer to the sound versus yeah, it just it just warms it up a little bit. So experiment.